Hello and welcome. So, um, I had tried to do a um, new Tekka 2 travel to space, um, but my computer dumped on me, so I had to start it all over. Um, but this time what I did was I, st I restarted the world. Um, one of the big things I did was I added a, a goodie box because, you know, can never have uh, too much fun stuff to start with. Um, I also did that because it just just adds a little bit, makes it a little easier. So this, I got about an hour with you guys today. Um, what I'm going to do is I am uh, going to work on finding a spot to build a base. Uh, I want to check out the map. Um, which still hasn't completely loaded, but that's okay. So it looks like just north of us, through the trees, there's a town. Um, let's see what kind of resources we can get from that town. So, uh, that would be that way, I think. I think it's this way. <laughs> let's look at the map again. Am I heading in the right direction? Yes, I am. All right, let's go. Oh, there's some horses. Nice. Whatever. And get through the woods here. Look at that. There's a village. Oh, it's taking a sec to load. Um, well, in the meantime, let's gather some wood resources. We're going to need wood. We're going to need um, sand, glass. The whole uh, My whole objective here is to actually get us to outer space. Um, I'm going to get up there, um, plan to do, um, you know, build in the base first. Um, then from there, um, we're going to have to uh, start building a forge. Um, so I added, in this particular um, game pack, what I decided to add was um, extreme reactors uh, for, for, for power, obviously. And I also added... Um, Tinker's Construct. Uh, I really enjoy Tinker's Construct. I don't, <laughs> I don't use it to its fullest ability because I don't um, make weapons or anything like that. I usually use it just for um, a hammer, so mining becomes a lot easier and a uh, way, way faster. And I'll use it for an excavator because that helps me um, dig, um, dig dirt up and level out areas for um, bases and stuff. Is this what is this? We've got. Sweet, we've got oil um, here. Uh, we'll be able to exploit that a little later when we get into the actual building the ship and trying to launch into outer space. Um, we're going to need fuel, and oil is the fuel. Um, I think, I don't know, um, I didn't take a look yet to see if uh, they have the galaxy space where you can actually use um, electricity. Um, there are different mods out there that let you build like electric um, spaceships it I'll tell you right now not as efficient as a um, a fuel powered one or gas powered um, it just it just not um, it actually kind of stinks what do we got in here oh we got a rolling machine get out of my way chest what's in the chest oh we got bronze plates magnifying glass some track Taking all that, we're gonna take the chest. Then we're gonna take. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take all of this. I want the tracks, the stoppers. Uh, good grief, taking a hot minute to get this stuff. It's okay though. We do what we got to, right? Um, just remember too that uh, all these videos that I do uh, will post to uh, my YouTube channel uh, when I'm done with them, uh, so anybody can enjoy um, enjoy them later. Or if you know you miss it or missed anything or want to rewatch, um, please, please do. Uh, I'm all about people rewatching my stuff, watching my stuff. Um, any uh, suggestions or ideas or anything you'd like me to see me make, build, do, design, um, please let me know. Drop me a line. Uh, leave a message in the chat. PM me. Uh, whichever uh, works for you. Um, I'm going to take some wool here. Huh. Oh, there that is. All right. 
I'm actually going to grab the wool mostly because uh, it'll make it easier for me to build a bed um, without killing off all the sheep. Um, really important to have a bed um, make that base. Uh, all right, let's... Well, this was a very uneventful um, town, apparently. Ooh, uh, blacksmith, blacksmith. Ooh, church. Church usually has some good stuff in it. Let's take a look. Nope. Really? Church has nothing in it this time. All right, well, that's cool. Well, whatever. Let's get going out of here. Um, is there a blacksmith around? Not seeing one. It's all good. I think we're good for now. Um, ooh. Is that hops? Yes, it's hops. I don't really want hops. Uh, well, I might want hops later, but... Right now, I don't want hops. <laughs> Alright, we're... Now we gotta find a good spot to build. Um, I kind of don't really want to be too far from here, um, only because uh, they have some good resources that we might want. Um, that looks like a cold biome. Not going to want to be there. Let's see. I usually like finding like that mountainy region near water. Um, I don't know why. I just I like the, the scenery, I guess. Um, let's head north. I want to go north. There we go. North. I want to go this way. Head north into the woods. Do do do. Off we go. What's that structure? I don't know what that structure is. North looks like there's lots of water up there. Um, one of the things I also try and keep an eye out for is uh, food, um, some kind of food that I can grow. Uh, it's really important to kind of keep on top of that. Make sure that you're always, 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 always have food and um, stuff like that. And the other thing is I'm looking for rubber trees. Um, they, you can, you'll recognize them because they have like a, a really tall, whoa, and... Oh, I found a zombie or a skeleton. Not sure which one of those it was that just attacked me, but it was one of them. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I was saying, I didn't even catch that until it was, like, too late. Um, rubber trees, you're going to need rubber. Um, the nice thing about rubber trees, too, is um, they actually give you... Um, jungle planks uh, when you change them. So I really like... Uh, jungle planks. I like the way they look. Uh, that and cherries. Uh, cherry trees are awesome. They look great. They're really useful. Um, one of my faves. Uh, I'm going to need lots of stone. I don't know if I want to build here necessarily. Well, that's an interesting feature right there. Uh, where are we at? We're here. That's just kind of floating there, isn't it? That's a uh, El Bizarro. It's not even like a, a swamp island or anything. It just kind of manifests itself in space. Kind of weird, um, to be honest. Never seen that happen before. Um, just remember, if you're watching, please uh, follow me on Twitch at Fishbox Trip Zero. So that's Fishbox Zero Zero Zero. Um, I enjoy playing for people um getting them to watch me but uh those follows are big help in making me um actually want to create more content for you so if you like what you see please subscribe um if you don't like what you see please subscribe and tell me you don't like what you see and tell me what you would like to see um only way to get better and to make it happen is if people actually um tell me what what they want what kind of content they're looking for um, you can also follow me um, on YouTube uh, and subscribe to my channel there. So if you miss any content, you can always just hop on there and um, see the past videos. Um, my regular videos, these videos should be up for at least six days or so um, as I um, get further along in uh, Twitch. See, I think that's a rubber tree. Yep, that's a rubber tree. So... 
going to collect this first. All right. And if you look, see how this, that tree right there has like that double stack? Um, that indicates that it's a rubber tree. Um, so you know. Um, and we're going to need lots of rubber. Um, I usually like collecting, you know, some of this now and then uh, saplings so I can start just growing my own rubber trees. Um, later on, what I'll do is I'll get a, I'll make a tap. Uh, and that tap <coughs> will let me start pulling the rubber out of the tree um, without having to cut it down. Um, so that's really important. Oh, there we go. Finally got a sapling, I think. Rubber tree, sapling. Yep, we got one. That's good enough. Uh, let's take a look at that map again. All right, I'm looking. Hmm. Well, maybe I am going to go kind of far from that village because I'm, I'm looking like right over here. I think that's going to be a great spot um, to build. Um, those mountainy regions, I really enjoy mountainy regions. Like I said, couldn't tell you why. It's just a weird thing about me that I like. Um, they just seem to have a, a good area to um, build your, your house. And then you have plenty of space to start... Um, digging into the mountain and creating an actual like fortress of um, everything you're trying to accomplish. Um, I like the fact that uh, you don't have to really get out. Um, not that I don't like exploring the world. I love exploring the world, but you can kind of build into the side and what will happen is you just, just chill. Like you can just dig and 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 you can um, actually start to hollow out that mountain and make your base out of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this area right here. Let's uh, let's start this. All right, and we're gonna need resources anyway, so might as well start, right? I am not feeling the. Let's swap this out here, here, and then we're gonna put a light right there. I'm going to put a cobblestone brick right in front of me. All right, so let's start this. Uh, whatever. I'm going to basically build a small base here um, so I can get started on the actual mining and building a, a, a really a suitable base because this is definitely not going to be a suitable base. This is going to be a hole in a mountain. Um, the base will have to will stick outside of the mountain um, is really what we want. We want it we want it on the outside, um, but we want to be able to come in here and uh, build some of our stuff, like our, uh, our Tinker's Forge. Um, we'll want to build, like, our nuclear reactor. We'll want to build uh, just a plethora of things that we're going to want to build um, and keep them safe from... All kinds of stuff like uh, creepers and whatnot. Uh, I did not turn off um, destruction, so if a uh, creeper creeps up on us and blows, well, guess what? Uh, we're going to be repairing some stuff, which is quite all right. It's no big deal. I don't want anybody coming in that way. There we go. All right, so I know we have two chests, right? Where did those chests go? Oh, we got three chests. All right, so I'm going to start with my chests. We got two of them. Oh, we did only have two of them. All right, and we're going to make, we got some oak planks. Make ourselves a crafting table, crafting station. Um, I prefer the crafting station because it will actually look inside of the chest next to it. Um, so we can dump all this in there. Uh one of the things we're going to make, too. I got one piece of black wool. I thought I could have sworn I got more black wool than that, but... Well, now. That's not good. Uh, but, whatever. I'm going to deal with it. Uh, let's see. So, let's make ourselves a... Furnace. A furnace here. Alright. hole in the wall for my furnace Boop. grab the coal that we gathered let's cook up some food what do we got we got raw salmon uh, yeah that's it we got a piece of raw salmon Oop. 
Oh, don't want that. All right, got a piece of raw salmon. We'll cook that up. What else do we got going on? All right. Cart, bronze plates, sticky resin, uh, do do do, rubber tree, rolling machine. What am we gonna do? All right, so, well, it's nighttime right now, so put that on the side. Let's start, uh, start mining. How about that? Uh, I think I'm gonna build a door first, though. Um, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but, uh, we'll build an oak door. Gives us three of them. All right. Let me get rid of this. Let me put a door down. All right. There's a door. Oh, we should get some food because we're starting to need food. And torches. Gonna need torches. I'll leave the door right there. I don't need that door. I don't need the cobblestone. I need the torches. I'm not going to need that. Let's see what we can find. One. Huh. Well, found the back door. Um, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, I think I want to go this way into the mountain. This is kind of where it's going to get a little bit boring, but that's okay. Um, no biggie. I'm going to put another door here. Put my salmon away. As we dig into the mountain, that's it kind of does get a little boring at this point because um, I'm just digging down. Seriously? Did we just pop outside again? No. Alrighty. One, two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, four. Uh, so I'm going four because I'll be able to come back and put in, make some stone stairs and then put in stone steps. So this way um, you're not jumping the whole time. Uh, it, Jumping actually just causes a lot of fatigue on you, and then you're um, you're tired and you gotta eat. It's frustrating. Let's uh, make some stairs here. Bink, and then we also need a new pickaxe. There it is. Hey, when I do that. There we go. Look at that. Do 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 stairwell down. One, two, three. So I'm looking for some materials right now. Um mostly iron. Iron's gonna be a big one that I'm gonna need. Um and I'm gonna need that for a bucket. <laughs> so uh one of the challenges I always find is um, I like Tinker's Construct because it gives me the ability to um, build some pretty awesome tools. Um, unfortunately, you got to run it with lava. So without um, like a lava generator, uh, it can be kind of uh, rough. Um, we can make one of those later. I think it's available in these mods, but if not, uh, no big deal. We'll just, we'll find lava. So if you look down, we're seeing in the mountain in the, um, in the upper right corner, you can see that as we cut into the mountain that there is lava that way, north, basically north, northwest of us. So a little further and we'll be able to go over there and get that lava. Looks like we're about at the same level as it. Uh, what do we want? Uh, ch -ch -ch. Put this stuff away. I think we got our axe. Is it? How's the daytime? Oops, sun's coming up. Cool. Uh, once the sun comes up, we will hunt for some 
other materials. I need some sand. Basically, you're going to need sand, clay, and gravel to start building that forge. Um, that's going to be intricate in uh, actually getting yourself together and, and making um, lots of different things, um, especially a hammer uh, when you have to start mining. Mining is going to be the the big, big challenge. Um, also, I need to see, let's see if there's different shears. Oh, we got a couple different types of shears, steel shears, regular shears, and then just, okay. So we don't have, um, we don't have available to us a crazy amount of shears, Shear, some shears available to us. Um, shears are nice, get yourself some uh, sheep, and then you can uh, just start, um, whatchamacallit, uh, making a lot of different things with it. All right, so let's see. We got sand. Let's find some clay. Is that clay? Clay, clay, clay. Nope, stone, stone, stone. Oh, I think that's clay right there. I hope that's clay. Clay is probably the hardest thing to find on the surface. Um, yes, that is definitely clay. Gonna need lots of this for the forge. Watch my water, I don't wanna drown. Probably, if we can find about two stacks of clay, gravel and sand should be the easy ones. And two stacks should give us enough to make all the grout we need um, to actually build our forge. Um, and then the, the next challenge after that is actually um, finding um, some aluminum and some copper to make brass, because uh, that's what we use to actually make the molds. For our tools. All right, got a little more than two stacks there. That should be awesome. And I see that this mountainside has lots of gravel, and then I'm seeing a lot of sand over there. Perfect, let's go get this sand and gravel, and then we're gonna start working on making grout. Um, definitely gonna need more coal. I did find in these mods, finding diamonds seemed to be a true challenge. Um, I did not find uh, very many when I was uh, searching around at one point. Um, they're they're very useful. Um, it's not, you know, diamonds are always oh, it's nice to have diamonds in regular Minecraft. Well, in in this, like diamonds are like a necessity um, to build some of the really nice stuff. Well, those are easy to get to. Cold. Yeah, I'm definitely doing this. So I'm gonna collect what I can. You know, a little more isn't gonna hurt. Get over to that sandbar there. Mostly because it's just a pain in the butt. Um, doesn't really bother me too much, but it's just, like I said, pain in the butt. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, we got plenty of that. I'm going to move these down. Gravel, sand. All right. We're going to need a lot more sand and gravel.
like I said, the challenging part is just collecting the materials. I need, oh, there's another piece of clay. Oh, two more pieces of clay. And my, all right, well, that'll be enough for now. We're going to head back to our makeshift-ish base here. That's like a little hole in the wall. Um, get some more coal. We're going to start uh, making some grout. Where the hell did I put that? Oh, there it is. Oh, way further than I thought it was. I don't have a lot of gravel though. That's that's a that's disheartening. I'm gonna have to go get. I'm gonna make another. Well, I'm gonna start some uh, grout, and then I'm gonna go find some more gravel. I'll make a. There's some gravel. We got a ton of it right here. All right, let's start this. got clay, sand, gravel, makes grout, boop, and we're going to throw coal, and then we're going to throw the grout in, 32 pieces, that is not a lot, all right, now we need to grab some sticks here, two sticks, and a piece of cobble, bink, that all right and then I don't want any of this to come with us so I'll put that all in there cool let's get some of this gravel here so we can make more grout I know this can be the toilet watching somebody just mine is can be kind of boring I know Sorry about that. Um, I don't know. It just is what it is, right? Like, when you're uh, watching somebody play Minecraft, a big part of it is mining, right? That's why they call it Minecraft. Get it? Haha. -ha. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, anyway. Yeah, so. Deal for now. Um, don't worry. Once, uh, once it really gets going, it'll be a lot of fun. That should be good. Let's go fix that hole in the wall there. All right, we've got some cobble. Uh, I think I'm going to go like this. That's good. Head right back in here. Close that door. All right, I'm going to put away a bunch of my stuff. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some more of that clay. We got the sand. And we've got the gravel. Oh, that should make a nice, nice stack or two. Yes. Perfect. 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 That's what we're looking for. I'm um, also going to go in here and sort this so we can kind of see what's going on. We got sand. Gravel, clay, all right, that's all grout. How are we looking in here, buddy? Level 14, all right, take that. Uh, I am going to, in the meantime, I'm going to build another uh, couple chests here. Eight. Um, I want two more chests. Uh, mostly, I want two more chests so that I can um, actually establish where... Uh, my forge will be and and that kind of stuff. Um, I'll start digging out that area. Um, I think I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I think I will. Uh, I'm gonna put it down here, a mm, little further. Right there looks good. All right, so. All right, so it's gonna go in here. Ooh, do I have... I don't have torches. I'm going to need some torches. Light that area up because I don't want stuff spawning in there on me. really thought I picked up all that wool. I'm going to have to go find some sheep. I'm going to have to go find those sheep. All 
Alright, there's that. Alright. So your forge has a base nine and then it has the um the large area around it. So you kinda gotta you gotta dig out a pretty big area and decide and then you gotta be able to get around it too. So um it's kind of important that you're paying attention to how big of a space you're using and how deep it goes and where the forge is actually going to sit once you've got it established. Um, honestly, I, I love the forge. I think it's one of my faves. Um, like I said, it it's not a matter of like the weapons and the craziness that you can do with it, which is also really fun. Um, but it's, it's really the mining uh, uh, capability. So like with uh, an excavator, uh, you can just move mass amounts of dirt. And with a, um, the hammer, you just you break nine blocks at a time. It really, and you make it strong enough that it'll go diamond level so that you're not destroying the diamonds and they end up gone forever. Um, it just it's just awesome I just uh, it's like has to be one of my favorite mods and I almost feel like it's a necessity um, but for some reason uh, it doesn't show up a lot in a bunch of our different mods that mod packs that I find um, so that's gonna be the base area let's see make myself another pickaxe here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make three of them whatever yeah, that's going to be the area, the base area for it. We're going to make it three high, eventually, hopefully. I don't need that corner there. Yeah, and then it's going to go straight to, uh, do I want it like that? No, nope, I'm going to move it back one more. I'm going to have to cook some sand uh, real soon, actually. Um, all right, let's see here. Do, do, do. There, there, there. Yes, so that's where that's going to go. Crafting tables, and I got a bunch of this going on. Base header. All right, let's, uh, let's make some bricks here. Oh, cool. We have enough to do the base. So the base is going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Then, actually, I got to fix this. I made a mistake. Uh, one, two, three. All right. Uh, do, do, do. All right, we'll put our drains right here, um, basins and a forge table there. Then that will be where we put our um, controller and we put our lava tank. Um, let's clear this area out a little bit more. I like to have plenty of room. I don't, I, I don't care if it's shoved in a corner, but I do like to have that room to like work around uh, my stuff. Um, be able to get to it easy, be able to put in um, all the crafting table type stuff, the tool station, the tool workbenches, and, the, and, and that kind of gear and whatnot. Um, so that you're not uh, going crazy. All right, so I've got these chests here. I'm going to put my chest down here. Bam, bam. I wonder. Uh, no. All right. Let's see how many more we got going on here. Grout clay, grout, 64 grout. Uh, all right, got a little bit more of that. I got one piece of sand, I thought, right? Yes, I need one piece of sand for the tank. Oh, I got to cook the sand, hold on. It's 
Wish cooking was a little quicker, but you know, whatever. Take a look at that time. 130. Got about another half hour where he is. All right, let's make that crafting tank now. There's our crafting tank. We don't have enough for the controller yet. Seven, one more. Come on, come on, you can do it, Furnace, you can do it. And we can make a controller. Some of the more important things you need when you're building something like this. All right, we're gonna put the tank and the controller in. All right, so we got our controller, we got our tank, uh, we need to eat. I think I'm gonna put a door there. Actually, I'm gonna put this door there. There, alrighty. Um, weird like that. It's like doors. Um, <laughs> grout. All right, put the rest of that in there. All right, we got four of these. All right. Like I said, this is a, a really, really time consuming type process to make this, but once it's done, um, it's going to be beautiful. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, six of those. Then we need three drains, two basins, a table, <laughs> drain spouts, uh, a lot, um, which is fine. No big deal. Um, we can do this. Back wall. Do, 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 do. Let's grab some food out of here. Let's, let's actually make some bread real quick. Got some wheat, make some bread. Eat that baby up. Yum, yum, yum. All right, uh, put everything away for a minute, sort this chest out, and then fix up what I got going on here. Okay, so sand, clay, clay, gravel, and then we're gonna need a bunch of wood. Like, what do we got? We got oak, okay, cool. Um, and then we're gonna make another, we're gonna make another wart. Oh, we can just make everything right here. So we need to make um, paper. Uh, the way you make paper for Tinker's Construct is you get um, sticks and wood. And I can't remember how much we need, but we need quite a bit of it. All right, let's see. So four pieces, 64. All right. So we take, first we do a log. Oh, we're going to put all the paper in there. A log in the paper. So that's our parts builder. Uh, just a stencil kit uh, crafting tool station um, and then we also need to make a chest pattern chest all right uh, I still don't think we have enough of the paper for all the different parts so we're gonna make little more I'd rather have more than not enough all right cool uh, that should be good come on down here uh, pattern chest tool station parts builder all right so I don't know I kind of wonder uh, I don't know if that'll connect to no it doesn't connect to the parts that I want all right come here I don't want you there all right so Tool station, bam. Parts builder, bam. The chest goes there, stencil table goes there. Now that will look at the parts chest, and that I can move to the pattern chest. So uh, there are four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty. I think I have just enough. So um, I usually just make them all instead of trying to figure out what I'm going to need later. Um, cause once I have them, it's no big deal. I I've got them. Um, and then I just, I move on from there. I do wish there was a way to just be like, Oh, here they are. And just 
dump them all, but you got to make them one at a time. Um, but like I said, once you have them, you're you're done. Um, you can uh, make your stone versions of them, and then pour your uh, aluminum brass on them or brass on them, um, and then uh, you can forge whatever kind of material you're looking for: um, iron, steel, bronze. Uh, you can't you don't do like diamonds you there's add-ons to um the tinker tools like diamonds increase its strength and redstone makes it faster and lapis makes it lucky and then you can even do like um you had to like make a cactus handle and it repairs itself you can there's just so many different things um you can do uh with this particular mod um and I just, I love them all. Uh, it's just so fun. Yeah, I think uh, I made just enough paper to put in the parts chest. Oh, good grief. That's awesome. Uh, I am going to go, on that note, I am actually going to go up here. Where's my book? I'm going to take my book. I'm going to bring it down there. I'm going to bring my axe down there. I'm going to bring my pickaxe down there because I'm going to organize a little bit better. Uh, 29, 30, whatever. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this guy up because I don't really need him anymore, but I can't get rid of him either. All right. Then I'm going to put a hole right here. All right. Sketch table. Put the pattern chest on top. Then parts builder goes there. Tool station goes there. All this stuff is going in here. So clay, wood, that stuff. Sheer bricks. Seven of them. All right, we got seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, Ooh I made one too many, I think. For now, um, <laughs> we'll go back to that one later. I'm going to put my book in here. Right. Obviously, I'm going to need them later um, to get some, make some of the really nice, cool stuff. Um, going to need to um, get uh, four blocks of like iron or gold or lap like there's just so many different things that you can, there's so much um it's just it's gonna be a challenge um but once you get the forge going you can use the ingot one and you can smelt your co uh, cobblestone into more bricks it you can increase the efficiency of um white making um which is awesome once you obviously have it put together. So we still need to make a drain and a drain spout and then at least two more bricks. All right, so we can make a drain. All right, got a drain. Need three of them for the spout. I like to build it like this where it's on the floor so like I can just I have that room maneuverability to get around the stuff um it doesn't really matter if you do it that way or not um just it's just a personal preference I'm gonna put a light right there torch 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 I'll move this torch where the hell did it go there it is uh, move my torch over there. And no, that's good. All right. Let's go make a drain spout, put that together. And then we'll just need two more bricks, and then we'll be good. Um, or at least kind of good. One, two, three. All right, drain spout. Bam. Uh, maybe I will just build it real quick, and I can always take it apart later. Should just bust a hole through the thing so I can just reach this. So I'm going to show you. I'm just going to make this basic one um, get us started. Um, 
So once I have the bricks, now I have these bricks, I'm going to put them on one there, one there, and then you'll notice that the controller lights up um, and it actually activated the um, the forge. So now it's it's actually usable forge now. I am going to clean this area out here. I'm, I decided that I want it that way. There we go. Um, now we can actually start smelting once we have some lava um, to stick in the tank, but unfortunately we need we need to find um, iron so we can make oh, I wonder if we can melt down tracks. Uses. Uh, crafting, 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 crafting. Oh. Nope. We can't melt down tracks. Uh, do we have anything that's iron? Uses. Nope. 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 Mm, uses. Crafting. Put a chest in it. Split. Cargo. Crafting. Huh. Oh, we have bronze. That's kind of cool, actually. We have bronze plates. Nice. Um, yeah, no, I'm getting kind of dorky right now uh, thinking about it. All right, I want to make a basin and a spout. And then, uh, do we have six more? Yeah, we'll be able to do that'll be that. Uh, actually, I want to do that. That'll make that'll work out a lot better, I think. I broke it. No, I'm just kidding. It's not broken. Uh, the basin. Uh, I'll be right back, folks. Sorry about that. Um, so I have to step away for a second. Um, six for the drain. Nice. I wasn't planning on building this this round, but uh, I guess I built my base a little quick, and uh, here we are. Um, or at least our starter base. This is not this is not going to be our like main look. Um, really going to need to do some work, to, and and it's going to be a challenge to make it really really nice. Um, but like I said, I do like building, uh, certain things underground, uh, such as this, um, cause it just, it's just, it's easy. It's easy to keep it protected. It's easy to hide it from, you know, stuff. Um, I think what we're going to need to do is we are, we, we have to go mining. We got to find some iron. Um, so I'm going to grab that and that. Iron. All right, let's go see if we can get some, find some iron. Um, 54. Actually, this should be a good, we shouldn't really need to go much deeper than this to find iron. So we're going to start digging. Kind of going three high for now. Um, What do we got here? Whatever it is, it's hard, and I don't know if I can get it. I cannot get it. Alrighty, so, well, that's sunk. I lost whatever that was. Good grief. Gonna need. Come on, iron. I know you spawn at every level. Yes, this is the very boring part of the game. <laughs> I know. I hate this part.
let's uh let's just go in a straight line here. Oh, found some more coal. That's good. Ah, uh, iron. Yes. Two pieces. Three pieces. Four pieces. Five pieces. Oh, this is a pretty decent vein of iron. Not, not mad. Not upset at all. Uh, kind of wish it was a little more, but, you know, hey. Means we're on the right track. Huh, that's funny. I didn't even see that piece there. I'm going to collect as much of this as I can right now. Other thing, we're going to need coal, because coal you smelt to get uh, graphite, which graphite you need for the um, big reactors to build our nuclear reactor and actually start getting that kind of stuff going, too. Um, it's kind of interesting how a lot of these mods just were designed to use as much of what was available and just added what they needed um, to really give you a great Minecraft experience um, playing. Cool. Let's go up here. Let's smelt this iron. Iron. I'm going to, I'm just going to smelt it all right now. Um, Because for me, it just it makes the most sense to just smelt it all, and then go find um, some lava. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's pretty far away. Hey, it's all pretty far away. All right. Uh, hmm. Well, I am going to let's. Dig down here a little bit. Let's see how far away is it. From where here is. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty far too. Well, alright. So I need to get myself ready for uh work. Um I should be on later. Um or tomorrow at least. Um one of the things I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a bucket. So I can start collecting some uh, some stuff. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, please go follow me. Uh, go on to my YouTube channel. Follow me there, uh, so you can stay up with everything that I'm doing. Uh, everybody have a great day, and uh, look out for part two, um, the base part two, and building our forge and finishing it up and getting it started to make some tools uh, so we can really start mining and looking for uh, those materials we're going to need um, to really get into outer space. Um, it is a process. It takes quite some time to get there. Um, I might work on a little bit of it without um, posting live, but we'll see. Uh, you all have a great day and uh, catch you on the flip side.